Hey everyone, it's Jay again, and I am in the process of leveling up Mama and Elite Cad Bunny, who uh, at the moment is Genesis and Elite Rolox. They're both level 33. They just hit level 33. I'm going to go ahead and show you their stats in a moment. However, I'm going to go to the top of the beach here first. So I was leveling down in the volcano area, uh, which is a pretty good place to level um, when you're using Rolex because, uh, or Rolox, because he does have um, both water and earth attacks, and mostly you're fighting fire and lightning types. <clears throat> Excuse me. However, wow, what is going on with my voice today? However, uh, sometimes you do fight um, well, Wind Miscrit. Fragger's down there, Woozy's down there. I think that's it, but sometimes you'll run into them. And then there's also the Earth Miscrits there. Um, Augur and Cerberuff. Oh, and there's also um, Peakley, who's a Wind Miscrit. So it'd be much easier if they were just all Fire and Lightning, but they're not. But up here, they're almost all water. They're almost all water. If not, they're all water. So uh, I, got, I went ahead and walked up here and switched to Mama. I figured it'd be a little bit easier, and I should have showed you her stats before I went into a fight. I said I was going to do that. And I didn't. So, I'm dumb. That happens. And I love this. Watch it. It's usually a 1A kill. 20, 23, 25, 21, 24, 22, overkill, gone. Bloom Bull. Now, if Bloom Bull is usually not a 1A kill, but it might be. Let's find out. 23, 23, 18, 20, 21, and 21. Look at that, another 1A kill. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and get some level 35 in this video so you guys can see. So let's go ahead and look at their stats right now. Uh, 120 health, 53 speed, 116 elemental attack. I am liking that elemental attack. 96 uh, physical attack, 95 physical elemental defense, 95 physical defense. So a little low, but not terrible. 150 health. I love his health. So this is so good. 91 speed, 93 Elemental attack, I'm really disappointed in that, um, but nothing I can do about that except uh, relic it up higher, because I'm not gonna buy I'm not gonna buy another elite elite gad money. He's too way too expensive. Um, 59 physical attack, which I don't really care about. 110 elemental defense and 101 physical defense, which are not bad. Not terrible. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, sometimes I'll run into non-water crits. 10, 8, 8, 8, 10. But I like this because um, then I can really see how much damage she's going to be doing to people. Uh, so 8, 8, 8, 8, you know. I'm expecting about 8s when I fight people in the uh, in the Platinum Arena. So, which is not terrible. That's about 40 damage if all five hit. Which is 100% accuracy, so unless they do bright lights, it's pretty good. Uh, also, I heal 15, uh, 15 HP. So. Bo, 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 bo. And you're out of here. I was trying to do Guilt Trip earlier. And usually, I mean... It, it usually misses, I understand that, but one time I did it five times in a row, and it just missed every single time. Let's see, how many, times do, how many times will I have to do it right now before it'll hit? It's two. Okay, wow, it actually, took, it actually got it, which is nice, because uh, I was trying to do it against a Fracture down in um, the volcano area. And I literally did it five times in a row and missed all five times. So I was just like, are you kidding me? So. Oh, well. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I wonder if I should skip. I wonder if this is too boring. 
Oh, okay, there we go. Something interesting. Although, he has a fire miscrit first, and I have a nature miscrit first. That kind of sucks. Um, that was one request of mine when I asked if you duel me. Um, I don't mind accepting duels as much anymore. I will, I'll accept them. My only request is uh, don't put your first miscrit as the weakness to my miscrit. I don't appreciate that. You can make it any other element. You can, if for some reason you want to make it the weakness, you can do that. But just don't make it the my weakness. So he had a fire miscrit first. But anyway, he didn't respond. I did click accept, but he didn't respond. So I don't know if that's uh, miscrit's fault or what. I don't know. There's this one guy that did the, the that did that. He uh, I had. Goldie first, I think. Beam. And he had, um... Or no, 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 no. It was on... It was when I was... Before I had Beam on Sunfall Kingdom. And he challenged me on Sunfall Kingdom. And he had a dual miscrit. And I didn't realize it at first. But not only was his miscrit... The elemental... Like, advantage to my first miscrit... But it also had the elemental advantage to my second miscrit. And I was like, wow, that's really messed up. I was like, that's really messed up, man. You did, you challenged me for a friendly fight, and you purposely choose the elemental <laughs> advantage of my first two miscrits. But to make it even worse, like, to make it even worse, I, like, my third miscrit was Hot Dog, and I finally killed his miscrit. Um... I think he was Nature Earth or something like that. And I think, uh, like, Skelepup was my second. I, I don't remember what it was. But anyway, and he used the elemental advantage. It definitely did his advantage. And then I killed it. My next my miscrit was Hot Dog, and I killed, I killed his miscrit. And then his third miscrit was Water. And I was like... And then I realized that also my next miscrit was Wind, and he had an electric miscrit as his last miscrit. Or as, as his third miscrit. And I was like, wow, you purposely set up your entire team... So, you would have the elemental advantage the entire fight. That's just rude. <laughs> I was like, that's just rude. You know, I'm supposed to be your friend. Huh? You know, if we're in the Platinum Arena or something and, and it happens to end up like that, that's one thing. But it's different when we're doing a friendly fight. You know, I'm not going to do that to you. Um, usually, I don't pay attention. Usually, I'll just be like... Uh, I was like, hey, you, let's do all. <laughs> Friend not online. Okay. Well, I just did that randomly. That was weird. It says he's online. Oh, well, maybe my... It's weird. I, I just refreshed, actually, my page. So... Mine should be up to date. Because I, um, I realized I had forgotten to do the community chest. I always turn to the community chest. Um... And so I just did the community chest on both uh, Sunfall Kingdom and Volcano Island right before I came over here. I want to try Mother's Instinct. I don't think I've used that attack once. And my quick time just came up and is... Oh, no, I use this attack. It's a cool-looking attack. It actually did a decent amount of damage, and again, my voice is, like, cracking. I don't understand why. Apparently, I finally hit puberty at 25. It's obvious. It's a joke, by the way, people. Some people, I don't know why, but I have a lot of people on my friends list that they will take things like that seriously. And I don't, and I don't mean, like, seriously as in, like, the, like, you know, um... Oh, ha, 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 and they'll run with the joke. No, I mean, they'll, like, they'll take it seriously, and they'll contact me and be like, dude, if, you know, if you're just not hitting puberty, you might really want to see a doctor. Like, that's some dangerous... And I'm like, it was a joke. And they're like, what? Like, it was kidding. And they're like, why would you joke about that? I really get some strange messages. I get a lot of messages on Facebook. Um, I get, like, anywhere between, like, 50 to, like, 200-plus messages on Facebook. I'm not even kidding. Um, I get a lot of messages on Facebook. And um, some of them are so weird. I, I get some of the strangest messages. 
Like, someone sent me a message the other, um, like, a long time ago, and I had to take a picture of it and uh, put it on my... I, I have a random folder where I just, like, show random pictures, and um, it was like, I can present send GIF now. And it was the first time they had ever messaged me. Ever. And I was I was just like, what? I was like, what is the context in this message? I don't understand. And then I asked, I was like, what do you mean? And they just never responded. And I was like, okay. I don't I don't even know. Weird, I was doing forty oh, he lowered my attack. Wow, I lowered my attack by five and it made it that huge of a difference? That's crazy. Hmm. I wonder if you guys can hear both. It's hot in my room right now, so I had my I have my air conditioner on. I'm even like, I'm I'm, 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 I'm like really hot right now, and I, I I have it just on like half strength, and I'm thinking of like turning it up higher. But um, I guess my computer's getting hot too, because now it's uh, it just turned its fan on. And I was just so worried that these these little noises will just get picked up. By the way, um, so. As you guys can tell, uh, I'm getting near the end of Miskirts again. Uh, I know it's been a long time, um, but uh, Dawn's Landing has kind of ran out, ran out its course. Um, nothing really new besides the Daily Arena, which uh, the Daily Arena did have a cool Miskirt today, by the way. It's uh, noon my time, so if you guys want to go ahead and get the uh, Miskirt Zapatos, it took me like 15 minutes to get him. Like, he's really easy to get, uh, there was, no, I don't know why, I didn't run into a single person. Actually, that's not true, I ran into one person in the, uh, Daily Arena. I killed their first two Miskirts with my beam, and still had full health. <laughs> and so, they quit. And then I ran into them immediately again for the next fight, and they just quit again. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, alright, I guess this works. Um, drinking some water. This isn't a live stream. What are you doing drinking water, Jay? Anyway, um, but yeah, and then I, I just, uh, um, too, too far away. How am I too far away from this thing? What? The <laughs> there we go. That... It should say too close if you're too close. <laughs> they seriously need to fix the uh, the auto pathing in this game. Anyway, uh, so what I was saying, and I, I don't mean I'm going to stop playing. Um, I might still continue playing even after I do everything, but I'm getting to the point where I have this boss team. Uh, you know, I have Elite Rolex, I have Mama. I have uh, Beam, and I don't even know who to use as my fourth Miskrit. Uh, I'm sure I'll show you guys my Miskrits at the end of the uh, of the video here. And you guys can be like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, that's a good team. It'll probably be like Seedly or something, I don't know. Maybe not Seedly, because I have a Nature Miskrit already. But And then uh, after that, I'm going to go to the Platinum Arena next week, which I believe starts tomorrow. Get myself another 400 platinum, um, and then uh, excuse me, 200, 200 platinum to, to be a total of 400 some odd platinum. Um, get some relics. Just buy, just go through all my platinum. Get some relics. Uh, relic up some of these miscrits here, elite Rolex and Mama, and maybe the other one. And then go feet go defeat. Uh, the, the jackal genie here at Sunfall Kingdom, and then after that happens, there's nothing for me, uh, nothing for me left to do. Um, people have been begging me to do uh, a dual um, video where I just like duel my friends, and uh, I guess um, maybe I'll make it a, a live stream. That way, you guys can talk to me, and it'll be probably my like uh, the last Miss Chris live stream I do for a while. Um, 
and uh, hopefully people will watch it. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed the other live streams. I do have two other Mesker's live streams, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed them, because I had fun. And uh, I know the people who were at the live stream enjoy them, but I mean, I hope that they were still fun to watch for people who weren't there. Uh, I didn't really get a lot of comments from people who weren't actually there. But um, I enjoyed doing it. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to get these guys to level 34. And then I'm going to pause and get them to 35 because, again, I feel like you guys just don't want to watch them leveling, leveling them up. Maybe I could be wrong, but and I, I know I've heard from many people, oh, no, we'd like to see it, we'd like to see it, but I don't understand how. <laughs> I, don't honestly, I don't understand how you guys can enjoy uh, just watching me grind. Well, I don't know, actually, part of me... Part of me kind of understands, because I remember that um, I used to play Final Fantasy, um, and if I'm still talking, I'll, I won't pause, but uh, so I'll just keep on talking and, and let you guys know about some stuff in my in my past. Um, I used to play a lot of Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 7, 8, uh, skipped 9, I went to 10, played 11, 12, 13, uh, anyway, I never beat... 12 or 13, ironically. Uh, but I love 7, I love 10. And, um, and 8 was okay. <laughs> uh, people keep telling me, like, oh, you should have played 9, 9 is the best one, and, uh, sorry, I haven't played it, and I'm not gonna go find a PlayStation 1 so I can find the game and find the game and play it. I'm just not gonna do that. Um, maybe at the very most, I might try and find an emulator and try and find the game online, but uh, I don't even know if I'm going to do all that. <laughs> uh, I did actually just buy 7 and 8 on Steam. I say just, but um, I bought them a while ago, like half a year ago, and I haven't even touched them. Anyway, I'm getting way off topic. So what I'm talking about is, is, is grinding and how you guys might actually enjoy watching my grind. And I'm actually going to stop the story again so I can level them up. So here we go, level 34. Yes, oh yes, all right. 121, almost uh, breaking 100 on everything else. And I'd, I'd be really happy if, uh, if she does that. And I don't need much. I don't need much as long as they're not ones. Um, as long as they're more than one. There we go. So still a low elemental attack. If he can get like his last one as like a five, like a four, and then the expert train is plus one, I'd be really happy. Still at 156 health is nice. Uh, I'm not going to complain about that. So anyway, uh, back to what I was trying to say about Final Fantasy. Uh, I, I used to play with my my older brother. Uh, I have an older. I have actually a couple older brothers, but anyway. Uh, my older brother Chris is who I'm referring to, and um, he uh, he w you know he was the one who played, and I was the one who grinded. <laughs> but I was happy, you know, and and I grew up like this. I mean, uh, I don't know when Final Fantasy VII came out, but I remember that I was a kid. I remember him and I were both kids. We were both, both teenagers. Uh, well, he maybe maybe I was a kid and he was a teenager. I don't know, um, but. You know, and of course he's the older brother, so he gets to the main story stuff, and I get stuck with the grinding. But I was happy; I was perfectly content and happy with that, um, and I enjoyed it. And and it felt like it was our game. And and he agreed, and he he didn't he didn't underappreciate what I did. In fact, he really appreciated it because there were sometimes where uh, he would he would go off and do something, and I would just grind. The entire time he was gone for hours, hours and hours and hours, and um, and he he would be having trouble with the spot, and he'd come back, and all of a sudden he's like eleven levels higher, when he only needed to be like three levels higher, and he's now he's wiping the floor with these guys, and that's what my brother likes. Uh, B, I like a challenge, you know, I like to fight you like, uh, oh well, 
well, I like to fight the computers, like, at my level, you know? And that way I can get better slowly. Not my brother. <laughs> my brother, he wants to destroy you. He wants to press X and win, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, uh, and he's always, he's always kind of been like that. And I know, I know a, f a few people that are like that, where they're like, they're like, I would, uh, he, he was the one who eventually bought, like, the Game Shark and, uh, got, like, infinite health and max damage and all summoned unlocks, but we had beat, we always beat the game first. That was a rule that we had, is before we cheated in any game with, like, a Game Shark or something, we made sure we beat the game first. And, of course, holy crap, it's a little bubs. All right. I did not mean to do that. That was dumb of me. Wisp. <laughs> Uh, this is what I'm going to do. Wisp again. I'm going to hit you with my weakest attacks. Wisp again. There we go. Caught little bubs. I've never caught little bubs before. That's awesome. I've been looking for them. I've been looking for them for a while now. Uh, that and the uh, shark ray. So now I'm missing three rare miscrits. It's funny how um, how again when you're not looking for them, how soon you find them, and that's just how it is. Awesome. And I find them. I found him here. Okay, I was told you can find him in these two spots, or you can find him. In this pothole, or you can find him in this tree up here, or in this little sand ant hill thing there. Um, but I, I was never told you can find him in that bush, but that's where I found him. So hey, awesome. Uh, anyway, and another thing was we would never cheat multiplayer. That was something, of course, uh, we, uh, you know, that was just an honor thing. And and, and I think. Um, Back when I was a little kid, we learned a lot about honor in, in games, and uh, I don't know why gaming has always been a big part of my life. And, like, I remember when I was playing um, Super Smash Brothers, the original, on the Nintendo 64, and I would play with my brother, I would play with Bryce Valu. Um, this, is, that was, this is a long time ago, a long time ago. I was... Somewhere between the ages of six and nine. Uh, somewhere between the ages of six and nine when all this happened, and I completely forgot to take you out of my party. Let me go ahead and expert train you to level two and then toss you out of my party. Get out of here. Alright. Um, and I remember that I would choose Pikachu. Now, for some reason, I don't know if this is just uh, our game... Uh, but for some reason, the default multiplayer settings was to have the damage at plus 200%. And so, Kirby's throw, the one where you go up in the air, like way up in the air, and then and slam back on the, down on the ground, was a one-hit kill. Um, and that was my brother's favorite thing to do. Uh, and he always did that. However, Pikachu's thunder... If you hit, if you hit him like right beside Pikachu, if you if you hit the little sparks that were right beside Pikachu, it was also a one hit kill. And when I say one hit kill, I mean you could have zero percent, and it would just sit, it would just put you at eighty percent and instantly kill you. I don't know why, but it was just the way uh, the game was set up. And we it, for a long time we played like this, and we never figured out why it was like this. Um, for, like, a while. Anyway, um, and we didn't even think of it. We just thought that that was how the game was. Um, so, my friends th who I played with, um, uh, Eddie, Chris, Bryce, and myself, they decided that every time I used Pikachu's Thunder ability, they would get to punch me. <laughs> And this is probably because I was the youngest there 
Um, I was, uh, like I said, I was like seven years old. Chris was, uh, I think, was uh, nine. Um, Bryce, I think, was nine as well. And Eddie, who we played with, and he was always the coolest guy there. I think he was, um, like, 16. Like, 15 or 16 years old. And it, it, it is kind of funny thinking how this guy was playing with, like, kids. But uh, he's he's awesome. Like, he's still awesome. Like, I, I would totally hang out with him even today. And he's always been an awesome guy, and he's always been an important person. And he's, he's, he's we... Like, the entire area there looked up to him as an older brother. So, don't find it weird that he was playing video games. Because he would always come out and play hide-and-seek with us. And whenever there's anything bad, you know, he was the guy we would come to for protection. And anytime some weird guy came into our, or, you know, a weird person came into our uh, cul-de-sac that we lived in, um, he would be the one to protect us, all of us. And everyone looked up to him, and he was just an awesome guy. But anyway... Back to what I was saying. So, yeah, they decided to make it a rule because um, Pikachu's thunder was a little bit too about just the, the range of it. I can hit people from underground. And once I hit, like, the third one, even the bolt of lightning was one-hitting you. Like, once I hit the third one. And I was I got really good at it. I got really good at avoiding grabs and uh, just being underneath the map and lightning everybody. Um, and people... And they really started to hate it. So they made this rule that every single time I used um, Pikachu's Thunder ability, I got hit. And at first I thought this meant anytime I use it, and I what, like one hit kill them with it. But I found out very, very quickly that it meant no. Whenever I use it at all, I could be I could completely miss everybody. And it wasn't just one person got the punch of me. It was the entire group of people. All three people. My brother, Eddie... And uh, Bryce, I'll just punch me in the shoulder, and I and I was like, "Are you kidding me?" Um, so eventually, I switched to Fox, and I became really, really good with Fox, and there was nothing I could do. There was nothing they could do, because I was no, I was not being cheap, which is the word that they used for. Like Pikachu's like one hit kill or, or Kirby's one hit kill th- a throw, uh, it, it was no longer being cheap. It was now skill, and there was nothing they could do. I was just now winning, and 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 that's just how it was. And I I realize now that yeah, it was dumb that they punched me, but it was them trying to teach me. Not only a gaming lesson of, of being, you know, having honor in games, which is one of the reasons why in PvP I don't use potions. I don't like to uh, when I'm when I'm playing Miskirts specifically. I don't like to switch my Miskirts. Uh, I, I fight I fight you with what I have. Um, I will if I have to, but uh, like if it's just too ridiculous. But usually I don't. Usually I fight you with what I have up there. And, uh, but anyway, but it's also teaching me a life lesson, you know, to respect those around me. And in a weird way, and and I I know that maybe, maybe it's because I I actually experienced it. If it it felt to me that they were trying to teach me that if, if someone is down, help pick them back up. And I've always done that. And I've always lived by this. And I've always, um, if someone was down, I, of course I would always help pick them back up. And uh, I think it's, uh, a, a lot of things in my life led to this, but I think that is, is, is a part of it. So, and I know that seems really weird to some people, and, and uh, but maybe, maybe someone. I mean, I, I, don't, I have a feeling most people won't relate, but maybe there's one person in the comment section below. And if you re- if you know what I'm talking about, you know, just say something. Just be like, I know. Because I, I went through something similar and, and I know exactly what you're talking about. And because I feel like, like a lot of kids don't have honor in games anymore. Like, like um, there's a hacked version of World of Warcraft out there where you can play uh, World of Warcraft and you can have... Um, you, you, you're, you're level one... 
and then you jumped to like level, like a ridiculous level, like 380. And and the main game doesn't even go up that high, and, and so and and you can get all the max gear like really really quickly. And there are a lot of people who tell me to play this, and they're like, "Oh, it's so much fun! It's so much fun!" And I'm like, "No, it's not. There's not. That doesn't sound fun to me. That that it sounds like you're taking the fun out of the game. And that's also why I get so frustrated, especially with multiplayer games. If you're gonna like, if you're gonna play." I don't know, Tomb Raider. And you're going to hack it to where you have infinite life or whatever, or if you're playing Doom, and maybe I'm showing how outdated I am, <laughs> and you're, you're, playing the, you're playing Doom, and you're like, oh, I'm, I'm going to play with uh, infinite ammo, all, all guns unlocked, um, infinite health. You know, go for it. Go for it, buddy. You know, if that's how you want to play, I'm okay with that. Okay, you want to play Grand Theft Auto 4 or 5, and you want to have all the weapons and infinite money and uh, infinite health, and, and you're playing by yourself? That's awesome. I hope you enjoy and I hope you're having a good time. And I've and I've done that before as well. Like I said, I, my brother had, had got a Game Shark, um, and he hacked uh, Final Fantasy 7 and Final Fantasy 10, and we played with all summons and uh, infinite money. When we got Yojimbo, Yojimbo is an awesome summon, but you have to pay him. And I would always use him, and I would just pay all, all the money that we had, because as soon as that battle ended, um, we were back to full money. And if it's a single-player game, that's awesome. Go for it. But when you get to multiplayer, and you're hacking, and you're playing against someone who's not hacking, you have just ruined the game. Uh, not only for the developers who now have to find a ways around this and who have worked so hard to make the game balanced, and now they have to make the game may possibly a little unbalanced so that, that they can so that normal players can compete with hackers. But not only that, but you have just ruined the game for the person playing. And I would hope that you'd think that you just ruined the game for yourself. Now, you probably don't, because you probably don't care about the other person playing. But maybe, you know, if you're like me, you do. You do care about the other person playing. And you do care about how they see the game. Okay? Which is why when, like, if I'm playing against someone in, in, in PvP, and they miss a turn, sometimes, not all the time, if they're being, you know, if they just happen to accidentally miss a turn and I realize this, I will miss my turn. I will purposely miss my turn so that they can get their turn back. Because I know how it is. Because I've been on the other side. Anyway, enough of me ranting. Let's go ahead and look at the uh, level 35 stats of Genesis and Elite Rolox. 126 health, 50 sport, 54, not 50 spore. 54 speed, 123 elemental attack. Awesome. Awesome. That's awesome. 101 physical attack. That's pretty pretty decent. I was about to say a different word. 100 elemental uh, defense and 101 physical defense. I am happy with these stats. Health is a little bit lower than I like it to be, but besides that, I am happy with these stats. Now... If you can get to 100 elemental attack, man, I'll be happy. If you can get to 100 elemental attack, please do that for me. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, you're not going to do it. Okay. Well, extra train, elemental attack, elemental attack, elemental attack. Oh, okay. Well, it went to uh, 99. It's one away from 100, and I guess is okay. But still, 158 health, 97 speed, 99 elemental attack, 62 physical attack, but, you know, don't really care about his physical attack that much. 117 elemental defense, very nice. 107 physical defense, pretty decent. So, yeah. Um, overall, I'm okay with Elite Rolex skills. I, I wish I had two. I know that I couldn't have afforded two, and thank you for the person who bought this for me. 
because I wouldn't have had an elite Rolex at all if it wasn't for you. But um, part of me still wishes that I had a second one because this one did not turn out the way I would have liked it to. So, anyway. I guess that's it for now. Oh, no, no, no. Let me go ahead and show you my miscards here. So I'm definitely... Uh, this is probably going to be my team. Uh, what do you guys think of this? Um, should I go ahead and, and level this team up? And by level this team up, I mean uh, give them relics. Because they all don't. Uh, Beam is fine for now. Olmeca, 160 health, 59... Speed, 101 elemental attack, 61 physical attack, 118 elemental defense, 104 physical defense. So, what do you guys think? If not, I do have Abali, Seedly, Hero, Magmut, uh, Aegis, Skelepup, and that's it. Skelepup does already have a couple relics on him. I think Seedly has a relic. Let's see here. Hero has nothing, you have nothing, you have nothing. Seedly has a, uh, a Molten Coin, so that's something. You have nothing. Oh, Skelepuff doesn't have anything either. So it's just Seedly who has a, uh, a Molten Coin on him. <clears throat> anyway, that's it. Please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my rant there. <laughs> to be honest, I really uh, did not expect to do that. And I hope that you guys enjoyed that. And I hope you guys learned something about me and uh, maybe about yourself. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.